Because what we cannot do is support a presidency budget when the president refuses to take responsibility for his actions. Because the simple answer that we get from Mr. Zuma every, to every single allegation is simply this, it wasn't me. You see, when the Guptas were landing at Vatar Kluf, the answer was, it wasn't me. When Al-Bashir escaped, it wasn't me. When the millions were spent on Nkandla, it wasn't me. When there was a failure to comply with the public protector's report, it wasn't me. When in fact, a four billion luxury presidential jet, it wasn't me. In fact, the push to sign off on a trillion rand nuclear deal, it wasn't me. In fact, when the Gupta brothers were offering cabinet posts, ah, it wasn't me. In fact, when the crash in December of the rand following the Nene Gate, same answer, it wasn't me. In fact, nothing is ever Mr. Zuma. But he doesn't fool anybody. Everybody knows it was him. And everybody knows there are countries going backwards under President Zuma's ANC. Everyone knows that one in three South Africans can't find work and, I, and that our economy is expected to grow at just 0.6% this year. Everyone knows that the education of poor, mainly black children, is getting worse under the leadership of Mr. Zuma. Everyone knows that the cities and towns governed by the ANC are in serious decline. And in fact, everybody knows that as we saw today, the ANC choir will come and protect Mr. Zuma at all costs, beyond irration at some point. The ANC of Nelson Mandela is no more.